Hey everybody, how's it going? This is D Money 107 and we are back on Indie Pogo. After after several months to maybe to maybe to very likely a year, we have finally we have finally gotten an update on Indie Pogo along with a new character named Super Meat Boy. Okay, looks like we have more characters appearing in the lobby. Cool, cool. Let's try training for a bit since um it's been a good minute since I played the game and all. I wonder if I tried um yoke before. But I definitely know I haven't tried um I definitely know I haven't tried um Super Meat Boy. Yeah, he's the star. He's the um. He's the star of his own game, entitled Super Meat Boy, where you have to go through very difficult and dangerous le levels at high speed. While trying to rescue his girlfriend from from this evil baby in a suit. Oh snap! He flashes the bird. That's an up attack. Oh, so he can he can. He can um, do buzz saws on the ground, and he's not really effective. <gasps> oh, and he can, and he can throw those too, and create a pro propeller. Ow! And he can deliver some hard punches. I wonder if the punches actually connect though. Oh, they do. Oh, that was close. Okay, so if there's already one propeller out, he can just do kind of like a, he can just kind of like do a harp, he can just do a poor substitute for a double jump. Which can kind of like, which can also affect the um, other players too. Okay, let's see what super is like. Oh snap! So he kinda like activates a buzzsaw that he can kinda like then he kind of like swing around unless he's hit. So it looks, so it looks like Super Meat Boy's playstyle revolves around punching, utilizing his butt offs and whatnot, and he seems really mobile. So, 
So his play style is kind of like based around his mobility. Kind of like. Kind of like to. The purpose of the super is kind of like to catch his opponents off guard so he can. So, so he can be able to continue his assault. I wonder when will that um, thing go away? If there's a limit to it. And it looks like the salt kind of like paralyzes. It looks like the salt paralyzes the, the fires for a bit. Yeah, it kind of like stops their momentum a bit. And he seems more, more angry and competitive. And if he kind of like uses moves properly, then you can be able to accumulate some gems. What's the purpose of the Ami Trail? I wonder if he could be able to kind of like... I wonder if he could kind of like dive in or something and then um... He can kind of like dive in or something then um... Dive back up. So, looks like his up air is essentially his anti air. You just have to really time it right. Okay, let's go to, um, Arcade mode with Meat Boy. Let's have some fun. It's been a good minute since I played this game. A good minute. So, wish me luck. Super Meat, Super Meat Boy versus Yoke. Taking place on a peaceful stage. Yeah, fight is taking place. See what bonuses I got. Ah, oh, I got cheap shots. Gotta be careful with the cheap shots. I think its name is Star Drop or something. I, for I forgot. But anywho, let's fight. 
Now this days you have to be really careful. And I just remembered that I have two lives while my opponent has one. Okay, time to slice things up. Huh. Whoa! You see that rocket coming? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was lucky. And he's down for the count. Oh, wait, I have three lives. Okay, next match. Oh snap! An army of little re reapers. Oh, now I have one life right now. I have to admit, that intro looks awesome. And they're rather... F yeah, all those clones are rather fragile. I'm pretty sure my super will be an ideal thing to will be an ideal way to get rid of them maybe. Okay. One Okay, there's five to go. I see the um, bottom left of the screen. Oh, snap! Little aggressive fella, aren't ya? Becoming increasingly aggressive, looks like. Haha! <laughs> Woohoo! Next is the um, bonus round. Super Meat Quarry versus Coins. Now let's see where the coins flow, ladies and gentlemen. If Super Meat Boy Trail plays a role in his gameplay then I'll be sure to um do some additional footage to showcase to um showcase what it can do. Oh snap bonus stages are being more generous than they were before. Thank you kindly Yeah, it's a good way to um gather coins. It's a good way to um gather coins since there are a lot of, there are plenty of trophies to get in the game. Okay, for free for all. Taking place on uh, Lilac's home turf. I'm gonna play Muhammad Ali in a biopic someday. Daddy? And I like that the Ow crap. I have to remember I have tools that I can utilize. Other tools. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had one life. Okay, one more for the super. Okay, 
Okay, that's one way to go. I can't wait for um Freedom Planet to um come out. A Freedom to Planet 2 to come out. I've been seeing so many um tra trailers. I've been seeing several trailers and gameplay footages, and I'm really liking what I see. I want to, I want more of the st story to be unraveled. Let's see what the new villain is up to. And speaking of which, there's Flyback. Okay. My my like it is the ring. Let's go. Okay, time for the super. Dang, racking up some damage. Whoa. Super Meat Boy is racking up the damage. Rather brutal playstyle. And with the salt and other projectiles, he can he can be able to become an even bigger problem. Gotta hurt. <sighs> One more stage before the final boss. Now they're finding in my domain. Three, two, one, go! I don't think I want to fall into the meat at the bottom of the stage. Okay. Sorry, home slices. You're just not cutting it. Oh, snap. Bit of help. And it looks like the um, meat flow or whatever is kind of like weighing me down. Ow. Yow. Haha. Uh -huh. Did he just pass for me? Now then. The final stage. This guy. The final boss. And he cheats. Time to prepare myself. Oh snap! Oh wait! He does that drill attack, and he stomped me. No! Oh. And he can fly. Um, oh snap, he canceled my um, super. Yowch. At least I got two more lives.
guess. Salt doesn't really affect him that much. Okay. Gotta be careful with this projectile. to mush a little more and he's done down for the count So they load up the um they load up the leaderboards. Cool. And it's for the um and it's for the um and it's for the character and the um difficulty. I have to say this is a really nice touch. And rank number thirteen? Sweet. Although I'm probably going to get a lower ranking later on, but still, that's really nice. You unlock the Meat Boy trophy. And Meat Boy joins the fight. Joins everybody else at the campfire. Such a lovely ending. So I'm just going to skip over the um, credits. Since there's a lot of people. And I have to thank everybody who and I have to thank everybody who has made this project po possible. That's a lot of names to go through. But still, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for making this fun game possible. Okay, now it's time to go to the shop. Well, let's see Gachapon. Let's see Gachapon. Let's see if I can get a new new pot or trophy, whatever, today. Huh. Got a new trophy at a low price. Huh. Isn't that ironic? Shopkeeper. Hank. Mila. Oh, Mila. Slime song. Leia. Okay, Mr. Serious. Crack. From Rival to the Ether. Let's see. Down shopkeeper from Downwell. Was that? The shopkeeper is well Taro's ally who follows him down the deep well to supply him with food and batteries. As long as he has enough gems, he will continue sell shelling out the goods, no matter how scary the deaths become. The shop is a safe sanctuary where monsters cannot enter. Oh. Okay. Hank, 
from Action Hank. After a hiatus that left the toy of the year in a slight state of out shapeness, Hank set out on a journey to reclaim the title of Action Hank. He had to def master it, momentum and defy physics, all while making sure no ragged 90 fi action figures outrace him. Hunter, a woman and her dog companion. 1147 years prior to entering into the dungeon, she traveled to Black Sword Manor to defeat Dr. Wolfenclaw. However, she was captured and stored in a quiet pod. Now she must kill her past and kill her enemy in to avoid being captured. Diogenes. Diogenes lives in from getting over with, with Bennett Foddy. Diogenes lives in an unusual and unfriendly world full of recycled parts. In it, he has been tasked with dragging himself up, up a sheer convoluted mountain, mountain with nothing but a trusty Yosemite hammer. He is constantly in danger of falling and losing every inch of progress earned, and as such is perhaps the bravest, most stubborn, and most foolishly dedicated man alive. You got that right. Duck. In the futuristic year of 1984, ducks run wild in frantic battle. Donnie has to their own making. Their bloody thirsty, their bloodthirsty heathen, these bloodthirsty heathens with weapons of almost every description in order to claim the ultimate prize, a shiny golden trophy. They're really competitive fellows, let me tell you. Crag. The Earth Bastion and Defender of the Colossal Ethereum, Ethereum Force, deliberate and loyal, he is one of the infamous wall runners who patrol the rock wall. Normally slow thanks to the to his bulky and sturdy body, Crag can roll up into a ball and roll around at high speeds. Kick. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, is where he spent most of his days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and shooting some basketball outside of the school. When a couple of guys, who were up to no good, started tra making trouble in the neighborhood. After getting into fight, Kick's mom sent him and Dive off to their Uncle Sensei where they began training in the art of dive kicking. His goal is to become so famous that all the girls will swoon over him. Shout out to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Convict. This dangerous lady, formerly known as Laser Lily, was once the head of a criminal organization. She wound up in the gungeon after a betrayal left her at the mercy of the law. She is elected to enter the gungeon when given the ch choice between that or a life sentence in prison. Her CD pass has prepared her for the dangers that stand between her and the gun that can kill the past. Wow. Leia. Leia is an evil tar, an avatar in the game world of Crossworlds that is controlled by an AI instead of a human, and is the first of her kind. After coming down with a case of amnesia, she sets off into the virtual world to try and recover it, with the help of friends she finds along the way. I just really like to see, I really liked reading the history. I just really like reading the history of the um trophies. Getting to know other getting to know the other It's kinda like getting to know all the other characters, you know? I'll buy this. If you are about to follow an external link, some antivirus software may need to accept Indigo Indiepogo, otherwise following the link may lead to damaged game files. Mm. I'll just leave that for now. I've noticed that the um, new music in the um, demo for the block stage plays, I have to say, it's really nice.
so then um I'm going to go off camera and see if the um meat trail for Super Meat Boy plays a key role in his um fighting abilities. So um I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Hey everybody, I am back. So so it turns out that I don't really know what the um Red Trail Meat Boy leaves his for other than maybe for decoration. I saw in the trailers that he was able to do a diagonal punch into a diagonal midair dashing punch into the ground and he did and then he did that um slide attack. But I wasn't really sure on how to do I wasn't really sure. Oh snap! Wait a minute. Oh So it turns out I had to do the um dash punch. I had to do the um I had to do um side B and then down to do kinda like a dive kick. Like that. Oh. Okay, so in order to do that slide attack, you have you have to um do the dash punch. You have to do um side special. You have to do the side special, and then press down, and then press and hold down. Kind of like that. Okay. I wasn't really sure on how to do that until now. But I'm glad that I was, I'm glad that, I, I'm glad that I was able to know, you know? So, to end this movie, I am going to do a free for all with four Meat Boy players. I know just the place. Meat Boy. Meat Boy. Meat Boy. And last but not least, Meat Boy. Let's go. Okay, so you can get alts by unlocking by unlocking them. Um, you can unlock alts by going to the shops and see and you excuse me. You can go you can unlock alternate versions of stages by going to the shop and buying items that correspond that correspond to the stages. So Anywho, I'm going to select the middle variant. And this stage has um alternate music which which I really 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 like. Kinda like a remix of the um main theme. And that's a really strange way to start a match. But uh Let's try again. I wonder how you can be able to play the um al alternate music for this stage. And it's not playing. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
This is my jam. For some reason, the blocks can can affect the position of the fighters before the um, start of a match, which is weird, but maybe it's only temporary. like play two already has um already has the um super has an enough for a super and so do I okay I'm in first place Let's have it stay that way. I'm splashing through the competition, literally. <laughs> Holy cow! This thing can really rack up damage. As long as you don't get hit, that is. Let's see if I can do it again. Or oh, maybe not. <laughs> this sounds like a more triumphant action packed theme. And I am really all for it. Whoever composed this, you are amazing. I wonder if it's a remix. Or kind of like, it, I'm pretty sure it's a remix, but I wonder if this remix is exclusive for this game or if it's already in this particular game too. Oh snap. That was my fault. Oh! Okay, play it for itself. Now it's between player one and three. Players one and three. Oh, wow. Now then. Dang. Last place gets disrespected and left behind. But it was fun. It was a fun match. And... Oh crap, I didn't do... I didn't do that um, slide. I did not do that slide. But we can play one more match. I know I said this is going to be the last match, but uh... But uh... Not really, this is definitely going to be the last match. This time we're going to play on this alt. Okay. Okay. So even though Beat Boy's um, meat is on the ground, he can still slide. Okay, so the slide does a bit, does six points of damage. Ow. Ah, crap, the anti-air, or the up attack. <coughs> Excuse me, just has sneeze. Ah, ah, ah. Three in a row, baby. Okay, time to rack up some damage. Oh, snap. 
Snap! Two so two um saw blades. And I lost them already, unfortunately. But to think, if I rack up more if I rack up some gems, then I'll practically be untouchable, maybe. Oh, play three, play three and four have two lives also. I'm pretty sure I can fix that. Well, play three at least. Oh crap. Anti air. I just like to call it anti air. Gotta be careful with the down air. Never mind though. Oh wow. Play play three took the fall just like that. Whew. Okay. Now this is the final match. GG's everyone. Thank you for joining me joining me here today for a, a good old session of indie pogo. Pretty sure there's going to be a few more characters coming to the game. And maybe a few more a few more features and whatnot. Either way, I'm excited. For now, this is D Money 107. I'd like to say thanks for watching and see you guys next time.